guys and welcome back. So today I'm doing my first ever products I have used up video. Like I said, never done one of these before but I know they are quite popular on YouTube. I am currently going through the crazy process of moving house. So I've had a big clear out of my bathroom and I've kind of been trying to use up all of the things that I have just a little bit left off. So this is the result. I have my big black bag of empty products to show you all and in no particular order, it's going to be like Lucky Dip, so, you know, I'm excited too, guys, to find out what is in here. So, first of all, um, shower gel, original source, orange and cinnamon shower gel. Um, I used this up, I liked it, I don't know if I would purchase it again. Maybe if it was, like, on sale, these are pretty cheap, I think they're, like, one ninety five. they often go on sale for £1. Um, it was limited edition, like, a winter scent, but... I'll probably bring it back next winter. I did like it, it's kind of Christmassy, orange and cinnamon. Um, next, Zen Tan, Fake Tan. I've had this for absolutely ages and ages and ages. It's taken me a long time to get through it. I do really like it, it's one of my favorite, favorite fake tans, um, but I do have quite a lot of other ones to kind of get through. Um, so I probably will repurchase it at some point in the future, but not in the foreseeable future, like the immediate future is what I meant to say. Zentan is very good. Um, next, Tresemme Platinum Strength Deep Conditioning Treatment. Um, I really really like this stuff. I actually have the um, shampoo in here as well that I finished up. I do have the normal conditioner of this but I tend to use the deep conditioning treatment a lot more anyway because I do have really dry hair because I dye it blonde. Um, it tends to get quite dry and brittle. These are just like amazing, like seriously amazing shampoos and conditioners. Um, just for leaving your hair nice and smooth, not dry, really moisturising. I don't know how much they actually repair. Um, they have some kind of crazy claims about repairing your hair, but as far as I was aware, I always thought like your hair was dead and you couldn't really repair it, but um, they feel like it's been repaired anyway. It's kind of, you wash your hair and you feel like um, you have new hair, that kind of like just out of the hairdresser's feel. I've spoken about these quite a bit before anyway, but they're cheap and they're good, so I would recommend those and I will definitely be buying them again. Um, another hair product, Kerastase Chromothermique, which is a detangler and a heat protectant. I got this one because I loved the Nectothermique, which is the orange and white version. It's basically the same product, but it's just um, part of a different range from Kerastase. So this is for colour treated hair. Um, and the Nectothermique is for, I think, like dry and dehydrated hair. Personally, I prefer the Nectothermique, I won't be buying this again, as much as I love the colour of the bottle, um, it isn't as good as the Nectothermique, which I've repurchased probably five or six times um, over the last few years, but yeah, it was good, but not amazing, I definitely recommend the Nectar over the top of that. Um, next thing, Michael Todd Blue Green Algae Toner. I actually ran out of this quite a while ago, it was like one of my first products that I put aside for a products I've run out of video, because the reason I haven't done one of these before is because I keep on throwing stuff away and then forgetting like to keep it for a video so I'll just be like I'll throw it in the bin and then I'll be like oh or recycling. I do actually, I'm quite good at recycling. Um, but then I just forget to keep it and I've thrown it away and it's too late. But anyway, this stuff is amazing, great for your skin. I've done a whole skincare video um, about this and a few other Michael Todd products and my other skincare bits and pieces, lots of Ren. Anyway, this stuff is good and I would recommend it and I would definitely repurchase it. I've actually already got one um, sitting, waiting for me to use it. Next is the Philosophy Pumpkin Pie, um, I think this is shampoo, shower gel and bubble bath. I just use this as shower gel. It looks like there's still some left in it, but I've tried for the life of me to get it out and it just is impossible to get that last bit. Um, I love this stuff. Definitely, definitely would repurchase it. It's expensive, it was £14, but it lasted me absolutely ages. I didn't use it every day, I kind of used it maybe once or twice a week. Um, maybe three or four times a week. Um, as a kind of like treat because it's honestly like my favourite shower gel, I absolutely love it and if they bring it out around, I don't think it was Christmas, I think it was like an autumn, like um, Halloween type thing, like Thanksgiving obviously in the States, but um, I did get this over here, love definitely, it. Definitely, definitely would repurchase that. Um, a body scrub, the Organic Pharmacy Resculpting Body Scrub, Tone Nourish and Resculpt. I've had this since last summer, I used it quite a lot last summer. I do really like it, it is very nice, however, it's £50 and I just wouldn't pay £50 for it as much as I really like it. Um, I was given it, I used it, I loved it, but I won't be repurchasing another one. Um, I really like the kind of results from this and I also really like the way it smells. However, it does like wash off quite quickly as well. And you know how when you're 
using a body scrub, you kind of want it to stay on your skin so you get the chance to sort of scrub yourself, whereas this kind of washed off, like it just was a little bit runny. Um, but yeah, I did like that and um, it was nice to use up. Next up is Cordelie Beauty Elixir. Love this stuff. I have used about five bottles I of it. I definitely will repurchase this at some point. However, I do have a Ren one of these and a Alpha H one that I need to finish off first and they're both nearly full so um, I won't buy this again for a while but it is my favourite um, toner beauty spray type thing by far. Like it just is better than the others. So yeah, I will buy that again. Um, next, a mini bioderma. I haven't actually quite finished this. I'm staying at my mum's at the moment and I was going to use this tonight. Um, there's a teeny tiny bit left. This is a travel size that I used when I went to America in the last, I was thinking when did I use it, um, last month. Love this stuff, definitely repurchase, I've repurchased it many times. The, like I said, this is just a travel size. One thing I do really hate about these travel size bottles, they look cute and you're like, oh mini, I'll fill it up from my big bottle. You can't actually refill them, they've got like these undoable caps um, where you can't like refill them, which just irritates me slightly. Anyway, that is my Bioderma. Um, next up, my Ren. Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask. I absolutely love this mask. It's lasted me quite a long time actually. I'd probably say maybe 15 uses as a guess. I'm, I don't know exactly how many times I've used it but I do really like it. It's one of those masks that is pretty rare with face masks where I actually notice a difference like after using it or like the next day. Um, I do really like it. £30 so it is expensive. Um, so I probably won't repurchase it instantly but I will have this again in my collection because I have loved using it, absolutely loved it. Um, another mask that I've used up sadly um, is my Borghese Fango Active Mud for face and body. This was just a sample size, I've used up the sample size, it lasted me like I think maybe like 10 uses, 15, I just put it on my chin and on my nose and sometimes in between my eyebrows if I have any kind of um, build up or breakouts there. Um, this stuff is just incredible, it just cleans out your pores, gets rid of blackheads. Um, if I have like a little spot coming and I can feel it, I'll put this on and then it won't like develop. It kind of like nips it in the bud if you know what I mean. And yes, I will repurchase the full size of this. They have however sold out at the moment on Cult Beauty which is really annoying because they do a massive glass jar that is I think like 500ml for £50 and then they do a 200ml or something for £25 and I just didn't really want to spend £50 and also I'm not a massive fan of those big glass jars either. Um, especially not when they're, like, the product is mud green, it's not like a nice colour. Um, anyway, this stuff is great and I will repurchase it when they finally get it back in stock. The next one is a sample that I got given. It's the Rock O'Neill um, Therapy Himalayan Detox Salts. I kid you not, I've got a story behind these because, and in fact, I think they're going to go up in my next video anyway because I repurchased these already because they are so good. I thought these were going to be absolute rubbish. I got given them as a sample and they're kind of marketed as a electromagnetic kind of detox type thing if you use a lot of computers or phones um, it's meant to like detox your body you're meant to use it two hours before you go to sleep and then not touch any of your electricals afterwards so I was like this sounds good for me like if it works it'll be amazing but really skeptical because I'm just not into kind of aromatherapy and things like that I'm a very I'm very skeptical I'm not gonna lie but they do smell really really amazing like very spa like very kind of cleansing smell um, so I put them in my bath about this this pot does about two bars so I put some in my bath and it didn't really like do much it didn't like m smell really as good as it does when it's in the pot it just kind of I don't know I just had a bath it was like a kind of average bog standard bath um, so I was like well these obviously don't work and then I lay down on my bed and I was talking to Mike we put on Game of Thrones which I don't know if that counts watching TV it counts as like touching electronics I don't know anyway I literally passed out and was almost like comatose. Mike could not wake me up. He was like shaking me. He was like, come on, because I fell asleep on top of the bed. And he was like, come on, you've got to put your pyjamas on, like get into bed. I honestly was passed out. The puppies came upstairs and were like trying to wake me up and I just didn't wake up. But yeah, that night I honestly slept 
like a baby, so much better than I have slept in absolutely years. So even though I was very skeptical about these, they seem to work and they recommend them for people who have like insomnia and stuff. I don't have a problem with insomnia, but I do have a problem with um, waking up in the night. I, I wake up and like, will be, oh, I'll check my phone or like, I'll go to the loo and I'm very, I'm a very light sleeper. Anyway, I really like these. I'll definitely be repurchasing the full size. And I'm definitely going to pass them on to my dad as well, because my dad actually suffers from a little bit of insomnia. So I want to leave some for him and kind of see how they work for him, because if they work, that'd be amazing, because I know he's he doesn't get much sleep. So, yeah. And then last but not least is my Nip and Fab Pistachio Sunday Body Butter, which I got in my glossy box. It was in my last month's monthly favourites, and I finished it up. I really love it. I probably won't repurchase it straight away. I think I'll get it next time I'm going on holiday because I do have a lot of body creams to clear out, moving house as well. I've been like looking through everything and going through all of the products I have. I need to use up kind of a lot of stuff that I have. So um, I'll definitely buy this when I need some body butter again in the future because it is really nice. It is a great dupe for Laura Mercier's um, Creme de Pistache Souffle. Um, yeah, love it. And it's not expensive either. I think it's about five to eight pounds depending on the size you get. And I believe that is it for the products that I have used up. If you haven't already seen my last video, I did an updated what's in my handbag video. Go and check that out. I will link it right after I stop speaking. And I will see you in a couple of days with a haul video. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So today I'm going to be filming an updated what's in my handbag video. I haven't filmed one of these in absolutely ages. It was actually, I think, 